Hi, and welcome to Lois and Morgana Davidson Art. It's Lois here, and with the holiday season, the winter holiday season fast approaching, I thought I'd share with you my way of creating these beautiful Christmas baubles using watercolour paint. I used our homemade watercolour paint for these, uh, but we no longer make these. They're not available, but you can get... A huge, there's a huge range available of metallic watercolour paints in tubes and pans that you'll be able to find online. Um, there's lots of iridescent paints as well. And you can use these on ordinary watercolour paper or on this black watercolour paper, which is really nice to work on too. You can also mix the metallic paints and the iridescent paints. You can mix them up with ordinary watercolour paint. And for the demonstration that I'm showing you today, um, I used indigo along with the gold paint to great effect. So you can use this method for holiday cards um, or for holiday decorations, which you could just cut out and stick onto stronger cardboard. And all I'm going to be doing is mixing up lots of different shades of my iridescent and metallic paint along with my indigo or whatever darker colour you choose. And then I'm simply going to be painting onto the rim of a glass. Um, and I've had my little festive nip of ginger wine before starting um, to get me in the festive mood. And I'm just using a brush to literally just put tube consistency paint onto the rim. Then I'm simply going to press the rim lightly onto my watercolour paper. You see I've put some washi tape around the edge of this card and this will mean when I remove that I'll have a nice clean white border and you can see how pretty that circle is. A perfect circle and it's a really nice way of creating that perfect circle and then going into the thick paint that's transferred from the rim of the glass with a wet brush and then I can just play around with the wet in wet technique dropping in varying amounts of my iridescent paint and my ordinary paint until I get the bauble looking the way I want it to.
and it really is as simple as that now to finish it off i just need to paint on like the suggestion of a little hanger for my bauble so just using the flat brush and i'm just going to put on that little shape at the top and then onto that i shall connect just a little bit of string um, again with a fine brush up to the top of the painting using my sword liner for this you can pencil that line in if you want to make sure you get it nice and straight and then just spatter in a little bit of pretty drops of spatter marks which will go into the wet paint of the bauble and it will also just um, help to make that background look nice and decorative and festive. Just make sure that the paint is a nice inky consistency and you'll get lovely spatter drops and if you use the same colours that you used in your bauble and spatter those then you'll have some lovely colour harmony across the whole card. If you get any extra pools of water, you can dab those out with a tissue because, of course, we've used the wet in wet method here or any stray spatters that you're not comfortable with. And then we can just drag some of the paint around with a pointed stick uh, just to finish off that look of sort of crackled glass. Or you can leave that stage out if you just like the simple, lovely, wet in wet diffusions of the paint. Trying to keep the paint darker at the bottom for shadow and then lighter at the top so that the light sort of glimmers off of the gold paint. And I'm just going to just use a bit of indigo again with the flat brush on this little top part just to make that defined and stand out a little bit more. And that's just about done. So here's the finished card. I'll see if I can show you the how beautiful the gold paint is when it catches the light. Um, I think you can see that there. And you can also see how pretty this effect looks on the black paper as well. Well, I hope you enjoyed that um, simple way to make festive greetings cards. Hopefully, I'll be back over the coming weeks with a couple more ideas for you for your holiday cards. Let me know what you think in the comments below. And if you've got any tips for making similar cards, um, I'm sure we'd all love to read them in the comments. So thank you so much for watching. Please leave us a like and subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. And thank you so much to everyone who supports us on Patreon. And I'll see you again soon. Take care and happy festive painting. Bye.